Right, this video is going to go over a very popular question in economics classes and it's popular because the answer is it depends and we've been taught from a very young age that in most classes we take there's a definitive answer but in this case for economics what happens to price if both demand and supply increase the answer is it depends or we don't know without more information so let me show you an example first we draw on our demand curve and label the axes appropriately price and quantity draw on our supply curve and so now we're going to increase both demand and supply so first I'll increase demand it shifts to the right or up and increase and then I'm going to shift supply to the right or down and increase so first what happens if I only shift supply that much? Our original intersection was here. We'll call that P star. Our equilibrium price. Our equilibrium quantity. Our new equilibrium is going to occur here with our new supply curve and our new demand curve. We see that equilibrium quantity has gone up and equilibrium price has gone up. So is the answer that price goes up? Not so fast. What if I shift the supply curve here? You can now see the equilibrium price is the same as it was originally, but equilibrium quantity went up. And finally, if I shift the supply curve way out, our new equilibrium price is actually lower than our original equilibrium price. So when you get the question, what happens to price if demand and supply both increase? The answer is ambiguous. It depends on the amount of shifts. And in this example, I've shown you what happens if we vary supply, but we could easily do it the other way and vary demand. So you could get an increase in price, it could remain the same, or it could decrease. We don't know without more information. But what we do know is that equilibrium quantity will increase if both demand and supply increase. So remember to keep this in mind and don't be tricked by it. Sometimes when both curves shift, you can get an ambiguous answer without more information.